when Jonathan called me up and, and, and showed me the script, then I, of course, I was very excited about playing this, this boxer. But when I read how, um, how relevant beyond boxing his life was for, for an entire country and, and, and therefore for an entire region, then I got even more excited. I don't believe in absolute evil. I don't believe in absolute good, kindness. So Duran is full of contradictions, but he, he, he gravitates towards light. So he's a luminous character. He's tender, he's tough, but he's tender at the same time. He can be very vulnerable and also brutal. And that is something that I found very interesting. It's been one of the biggest privileges and honors in my life to, to, to work with Robert De Niro and to, and to do a movie like this with him. He's one of the most generous person of, persons I've ever met. He is uh, warm, uh, he's strong, he has such a gravitas and such a credibility. Um, he's so, so strong and at the same time so... Uh, so close and, and approachable and, and, and has such a warmth um, and a command. It's, it, it was so inspiring to, to work with him. Uh, it's been one of the, of the, of the best things that, ever, that, has ever, that have ever happened to me. Well, I trained and trained and trained and trained and trained until, you know, I, I almost broke. That was, that, that's, that's the only thing, you know, I mean, I was training four hours a day for over seven months, eight months before we shot. It was very important for me to become a boxer on my own and to learn how to fight before I even try to learn Duran's technique and Duran's movements and combinations. It was very important. It was like, I mean, without me going through the experience of, of a boxer and living as a boxer, it would have been impossible to try to, to step into his, you know, shoes. It, because it was like wanting to become a climber and then just going to Everest right away. You can't do that. I mean, you have to go step by step. So, so for me, it was very important to feel the struggle and, uh, and, and, uh, and the hardship of training um, to become a boxer uh, before trying to imitate and to, and to emulate his style and, 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 the, and, and, and his techniques. Panama is a country that is predominantly um, um, African, you know, and, uh, and it has a very important African culture there and it's and, and that has affected everything it has impacted also the way the way they fight so there's something really that is very it's very musical it's very related to music and all this music you know this rhythm comes from africa and um and that was something that was very important to me to to understand and to integrate and to be and, and to make it and to allow it to become my my second skin my second nature you know so uh so it was not only boxing it was boxing and then understanding the and then I talk about it and I immediately you start, you know, to move because that's the, you know, the, you get, the, 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 there's, the, there were moments where, where Jonathan wanted me to train um, uh, listening to, to salsa music. Working with him was fantastic. He was very committed, Usher, and he's a dancer. And, um, and Sugar Ray Leonard, has also had also a, a, a style of boxing that was very kinetic, um, that was very fast, um, that was very, um, uh, um, yeah, kinetic. I mean, he would move very fast. So he would dance around. I mean, he also felt like a dance, and uh, which drove you know to run crazy, and 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 definitely I think that 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 that, that, that Jonathan was uh, was very very smart in offering this to. Uh, to a, to, a, to a dancer, because Usher is a great dancer, he's a performer, but he's a dancer as well, because it, you know, it really clicked with, with the nature of the character. I think that in Jonathan I found a true 
creative partner. I mean, someone who really understands me and someone who, as an actor, uh, gave me all the space and at the same time all the protection to get crazy and to explore uh, things as to the fullest on set, you know, in a, in, in a film. Uh, I, 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 I had, I had uh, rarely felt this level of freedom in a, in a film. Many of the stories that come, um, um, film stories that come from a region are about uh, these uh, drug dealers, like drug traffickers and, 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 and the bad guys. And very seldom we see stories about the good guys from Latin America. And, and Duran, he, although he was not perfect, and he's not perfect and he's flawed and, and has a lot of um, very uh, uh, interesting and, con and, and contradicting traits to his personality, he's a positive figure. Duran, when he became the, the, the great athlete and the great boxer that he, that, he, that he did, and that's part of the story that we tell in the film, his impact went beyond uh, um, uh, a national pride uh, based on, on, on boxing. I mean, he became the identity of Panama. And when he fought Sugar Ray Leonard, in the first fight and, and, and won Sugar and, and won over um, uh, Sugar Ray Leonard, then it was more than just a, 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 a boxing fight. It was way more than that. In a way, it was a, was a settlement of, of accounts, you know, uh, for many Panamanians. This is also a movie about fatherhood and the importance of uh, of the father figure in a man's life. So Duran is unconsciously looking for a father, and Ray Arcel has also some uh, accounts to, to settle as well as a father. Um, so they meet each other and they find each other to, in a way, heal each other's wounds uh, in relation to, to the issue of, of fatherhood. And, uh, and, 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 and I think that that's also another, another layer that, that, it, that it's beautiful, that is very moving, and that constitutes one of the um, most important conflicts in the film. Felicidad, um, La Fula, the character that she plays, um, uh, it's the, she's, she's the core of Roberto Duran's emotional life. So I think that with, without her, uh, he would have been lost in many moments. In, in, and even when he, in his life, even when he, was lo even when he got lost and he was losing it, it was, it was Felicidad who pulled him back, who somehow put him back on the right track. So that speaks about the importance of, of love and, and strong relationships in your life. And, uh, and this, is, this is also that, so something that we explore in the film, I mean, how important relationships are. Did you know that Hugh Jackman almost had a cameo as Wolverine in Spider-Man? But his costume got lost. For this and more movie facts, click on more videos or click on the playlist for more trailers.